Well, it's all a very far cry from the repressed, buttoned-up Britain of the 1950s when gay sex itself was still a crime. Parliament voted to legalise it finally in 1967, but that didn't mean gay and lesbian couples were seen as equal under the law. Katie Russell has been looking at the long campaign to change British attitudes on sexuality and how different things really are today. Today, Parliament was voting to legalise same-sex marriage, but turn the clock back 50 years and Britain was a very different place. In the 50s, with more than a 1,000 British men in prison for homosexuality, the Wolfenden Report recommended decriminalisation. Homosexual behaviour between adult consenting males in private should no longer be a criminal offence. Back then, interviewers asked questions that sound outrageous now. If that suggestion is accepted and the law is changed, isn't there a danger that it may have repercussions on children, that these men may also go after children? Well, from the evidence we've had, <clears throat> oddly enough, the opposite is what we should expect. Ten years later, with Roy Jenkins as Labour's Home Secretary, the law changed. A free vote this time too, but the battle for equality was far from won. What sinister shadow from the past now falls between husband and wife? The victim was a cultural milestone. The first English language film to use the term homosexual, and that only after 30 minutes. The story sees Dirk Bogart blackmailed for his gay past and was banned initially in America. A decade later and as groundbreaking culturally, John Hurt's portrayal of Quentin Crisp won him a BAFTA. Have you ever felt love? Honestly? I haven't. <laughs> Your son's not one of those, is he? <laughs> <laughs> one of what? Gay pride grew in stature. They marched in Hyde Park to celebrate 10 years, and more joined them to protest the threat of Clause 28 in the 80s, the government ban on local authorities promoting homosexuality. They fought for their rights, but at home on the box, lesbians barely featured, and the portrayal of gay men, certainly in comedy, was insulting. I would have been here at 8.58, but I caught my handbag in the loop. <laughs> Not just John Inman, but Larry Grayson, too, had Britain laughing. I woke up this morning, and I felt as limp as a vicar's handshake. <laughs> Dr Carey supports discrimination against lesbian and gay people. But in the real world, protest brought change. Peter Tatchell and campaigners demanded same-sex marriage decades ago, and since then, milestone after milestone has passed. An equal age of consent, discrimination at work outlawed, civil marriages introduced. We have moved mountains. In that period, since the late 60s to now, every major legal discrimination, bar the ban on same-sex marriage, has been repealed. For thousands and thousands of gay people this will be a joyous occasion because it will mean that society finally does recognize our love as equal tonight they're celebrating a progressive moment in british history but these campaigners know that in many parts of the world the freedoms they have are still a very long way off <laughs>